एवरीवन वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन गिव अ लिमिट इन साइड आर डेटा बेस लाइक हाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ऑप्टेन द डेटा एंड यू वॉन्ट टू गिव अ लिमिट ओवर दियर दैट हाउ मच डेटा यू वॉन्ट टू ऑप्टेन इन द पाइथन वी कैन यूज अ लिमिट फंक्शन ओवर हियर सिमिलरली टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अनादर फंक्शन कॉल्ड एज क्रिएट इंडेक्स सो सपोज वी हैव इंडेक्स ऑलरेडी ओवर हियर विच इज अंडर स्कोर आई डी इट इज एन ऑटो जनरेटेड इंडेक्स दैट मॉन्गर डे बी गिव्स टू अस right but suppose if you want to create another index over here which uh, where you can you know give the values like 1 2 3 4 which will be easy to access in that case how you can do it we'll have a look on that in our this session so let's see how it can be done so first of all to do this we will be importing our pymongo once we have imported pymongo we'll be doing the next thing we'll be doing is the client we'll uh, build a connection over here that client is equals to pymongo dot mongo client and here i'll be passing the two parameters one is the local host And the second one is our port number that is two seven zero one seven. Moving ahead, the next thing that we will be doing is declaring the database and the collection. So DB is equals to in the square brackets along with the client. I'll be passing the name of my database that is company. And second thing that I'll be passing over here would be the collection. So uh, right till now you're working on the collection. How about we work because in co collection we already have like when company we already have this data. We already we already have this employee ID. So we do not need any other ID. Or if you want, we can. Create an ID in this one also. If you want, we can create a, a school as well. So I think I'll just go with the ID. So we, uh, instead of you know wasting time in creating another date, uh, you know collection over here and then inserting the data and all these procedures, let's just create an ID over here. Like we will be just writing EMP ID. Look, so we will be having two employee IDs, but we will be just creating this index as a EMP ID over here. Again, we will be working on the collection that is DB and the square brackets. I'll be passing the name of the collection that is employee. data once we are done with this the next thing we have to do is uh, first of all let's obtain the list of ids over here to obtain the list of id we will be writing that i want to obtain the list of index so list of index is equals to collection dot list indexes open close the parentheses to obtain the list of the indexes first of all we will be writing collection dot and we have over here index and i'll be just looking for index okay i'll just simply write that index info so we need the index information over here and in in the in index information i want to sort these values and i want to obtain this in a format of a list so what we will be doing we will be writing over here i'll be creating a pair of parentheses here i'll be passing a list and these values needs to be sorted that's why we will be writing sorted and here i'll just close the pair of parentheses here once we are done with this we'll print it as well so i'll just print list of index let's run and see right now what output we are getting here as soon as i'll run it i'll be getting id that id is the only index id uh, that i have over here so once we are done with this and we have list obtain the list of indexes over here so we have only one index over here now if we want to create a index we will be writing collection dot create index and we will be creating an index over here you can give any name to this in index for example i'll be giving employee id and over here i'll be writing again the list of index 1 is equals to and i'll be passing the same values over here so instead of just doing this let me just write this over here and as soon as i'll run it you will now see that i have obtained two indexes over here a new index have been created over here that is employee id underscore one the underscore one has been auto generated here and we will be using this new id as em uh, employee id underscore one new index as employee id underscore one let's go to our mongo and let me just reload the data so here you will see here nothing will happen but if we go in indexes over here we here we have a new index that has been created that is called as employee id so this is the new index that you can create and work on and lastly if you want to obtain the information you can simply write index underscore information and it will give you the information of indexes that are present in your collection so i hope guys that how to view how to create the indexes over here is clear to you and you have no doubts in the questions in our next session we will be talking about how to delete these indexes so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you